What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits, and today I bring to you an awesome update to the Plex app on your Xbox One. You know, ever since the release of the Plex app on the Xbox One, I've always hated the fact that it could not direct play MKV files. In fact, streaming an MKV file to an Xbox turned out to be one of the most resource demanding tasks of any Plex player. Aside from the additional resources needed to transcode that MKV file, you were also stuck with the slower seek times while trying to fast forward or rewind a video. And if you have used the app enough, then you know that it's not uncommon for it to hang or even error out when and trying to do so. Well, as you would guess, this new update brings direct play support for MKV files. This is a huge relief for servers everywhere, and I for one rejoice for this feature, mainly because now I can fast forward in an episode almost instantly without having to count the amount of times that stupid little ring goes around in a circle. I hate that ring. But hey, the fun only starts here. Now on Xbox, you can fully enjoy your music library as you would on most other devices. And as an added bonus, you can even keep the music playing while in snap mode or while on the background of the home screen. Better yet, they also updated support for Smart Glass and now you can control and see what's currently playing from the Smart Glass app. The app does not mirror your Xbox or anything, but it does show you the title of what's playing and for how long. You then can of course control it from there if you so choose to. And I know all of you have been wanting support for cinematic trailers before each movie. I mean, nothing gives you that true movie experience more than being able to watch upcoming movie trailers and then deciding right then and there if you'll ever watch it. Well, I mean, I guess you could have stale popcorn and screaming kids behind you, but there is such a thing as going just a little too far. But wait, there's more. Playlists have finally arrived, and it's about damn time too. I don't blame Plex for this delay because getting an app update pushed through Microsoft is harder than scoring a date with Jessica Alba. But now that it has arrived, I can finally create a playlist of all my favorite Star Trek episodes to be played back to back. Nerd. Last but not least, we now have new key bindings to directly start playing something when browsing. The X button will automatically start playing, or you could flip between TV episodes with the left or right bumpers. But Really though, let's be honest, if you're a true media consumer off of your Xbox, then you probably already have the remote and you don't use the controller. That's okay though, because a feature is a feature and we love features. If you like this video today, drop me a like below. And if you're a true Plexian, make sure to subscribe.